hi guys welcome back to the digital forensics training session and today we'll be talking about the requirement for the forensic workstation that is the very important core requirement because when you are going to establish your lab for digital forensics you need some kind of workstation in those labs to work for the data recovery and digital forensic analysis so i have just uh, gotten up a list of basic wor forensic workstation requirement which is the basic requirement to establish a lab so first of all when you are talking about forensic workstation you should have a latest workstation workstation means is equal to computer over here uh, i can tell you that some people confuse uh, over them like uh, into servers they call workstation and uh, the computers they call a normal personal computer so basically when we are talking about these workstation should have the latest hardware like uh, currently uh, there is i9 systems over here in the market i7 systems uh, which can store maximum amount of data and there should be also a lot of processing cap capability like when i am talking about the processing uh, capability we can both have the the ram capability increased up to 64 gb 128 gb or we can go up to the gpu based system so basically maximum hardware should have all the things that can support your maximum processing ability because you have to go into encryption decryption data imaging and remote and local data duplication so you will be needing a lot of space other than that when you are going for the remote duplication of the data then you should have a perfect internet connection with a, a maximum speed like nowadays when we are talking about uh, other countries like USA like Canada they have about 150 mbps connection 200 mbps connection and even 1 terabyte digital connections for the networks so basically when we are talking about forensic work session we should consider all these things and this system should be able to validate the images uh, of the different drives copied and should verify the file integrity and it has to copy all the things from one drive to another and when you are searching for digital records on another hard drive or another system you need to make sure that everything has been checked so this system system should be able to analyze and identify the date time modifications and timestamps of the other uh, files and other things that are uh, critical to the digital forensic analysis because when we are talking about digital forensic analysis we are going to check that when the user has opened the session when the user has closed the session when the user has accessed the files when modified when closed how many times he edited the file or how many times uh, uh, the file was moved from one place to another what character was in in the first version second version third version so we, so we should have uh, a kind of tool that can uh, check all these things so we will be needing a number of tools for data analysis other than that we will be uh, having a tool that can acquire the uh, deleted data and the files the temporary files the hidden files and it should also support removable media because we have if we are going to check different usbs or different materials and we are going to check all the data from the external drives or external usb drives at, and at this moment i will say that you should have, you should have also a licensed antivirus that should be able to check the data for different viruses that are very critical to your system because most of the time when we are talking about intrusions and bigger intrusions some of the data also have viruses put in them so when you put it, uh, the hard drive to your system it will just um, delete or uh, finish your system in a number of days so basically you should have a prior pre uh, preventive care for your system and workstation and your workstation should support heavy tools when i am talking about heavy tools nowadays we can use deep learning artificial intelligence for the data recovery and data analysis and root analysis and hashtag analysis so basically you should have a heavy tool system gpu based system which can perform all these tasks so this is the very basic workstation requirement and you can have all the workstation in your lab supporting that and other than that you should have many other things like fingerprint analysis things you should have a, a mechanical team that can work on the uh, hard drives which are broken uh, you should have another team that will be able to recover data from other items like from other systems and from the networks you should have a network person skill and qualified person so there is a uh, requirement for all these things when we are talking about for antique one workstation or the lab requirement so in the next video we will be talking about how you can build up the team and what are the basic requirements so this video was up to here like and subscribe to my channel and share this video to other people thank you